you forget who we are, we have our names here, and it's in the order that we're going to be talking. So you can just be like, okay, that's so we're gonna, Elena. <laughs> we're going to teach in three parts. Yeah. Okay. All right. So our topic tonight is going to be subject-verb agreement and pluralizing. Has anybody heard those words before? Subject verb agreement, pluralizing. I think you heard that. You're in any class. Okay. So these topics can be a little confusing, especially because they use some of the same rules, like adding s. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that, and hopefully it'll be less confusing by the end of tonight. Okay. And you have two handouts. There. So the first one is the subject verb agreement. That's that one. Two or more, right. So a basic rule to remember for subject verb agreement is that a singular subject, one, takes a singular verb. And for a plural subject, two, three, four, five, or more, you take a plural verb. So in the sentence, he talks. He talks. What is your subject? Okay, good. So, 
Well, this rule works really well for those simple sentences like he talks and the trees are green. Things can get a little more difficult when we're using more complicated or harder sentences. Okay? So that's what the handout is for, and that's what those 15 rules are for. If you kind of look through them, there are some really hard sentences in there. But don't worry about it. You're not going to use them tonight. It's okay. But we're going to go over a couple of the, not a couple, five of the rules that we felt were most important for tonight and in general. So um, I'm going to kind of, I'm going to jump around on your paper. So the first rule that I'm going to start with is rule six. And so that rule is over here. So it's, you use a plural verb, right? Plural verb with two or more more subjects when they're connected by and. So here we have a car and we have a bike and they're connected by and. And so you use the plural verb are. Okay. For verb, sorry, for rule number seven, if the subject and the verb is If the subject and the verb are separated by words like along with, or besides, or as well as, <laughs> so along with, as well as, besides, so you just ignore those things. So we can just ignore this, okay? All we need to know is the teacher, is singular, one teacher. So the verb is singular, one verb. <laughs> that doesn't make sense, but a singular verb. Okay? All right. So rule number eight is up here and right there. So rule number eight the pronouns each, everyone, everyone, everybody, anyone, anybody. All pronouns like that, those are singular. So don't worry about this one here. This isn't what you're looking at. You're looking at the pronoun each. And that determines your verb as singular. Because this is singular. So rule number nine on your sheet, words that indicate or talk about portions, like percent, or majority, or some, all, or none, you look at the noun that's used after it. So we have 50% is our portion word, right? And then our noun here is pi. It's, what is pi? Singular or plural? Singular. So we have a what kind of verb do we have? Singular. Right. Okay. And number 15 on your paper, it's on the back. This one deals with collective nouns. So I think collective nouns tends to be something that students have a hard time with. So things like the team or the staff that made up with a lot of, of a lot of people, but it's kind of one thing. So those we have a question over oh, yeah. here with number eight. Okay.